you like flames? Do you like hot sauce? Then this video is for you because today I'm going to show you how I shot a small social media clip for a hot sauce company that looks like this. So the fire and the flames are really what makes this video look interesting and I shot everything in the camera there's no special effects on this everything is real flames and the setup was really simple I just used my black background as in a lot of my product videos and I just had two lights the two man light paddle tubes which I use in every single product video and I love them they're amazing and yeah that's basically it I used some chilies as a prop and then I used some chili flakes um, to make it a little more interesting and then of course a little flamethrower I'm gonna show you in a second. So the intro sequence where the chilies are flying through the air through the fire was actually really hard to pull off because there's lots of stuff happening at the same time and I had an assistant helping me and Everything was shot in 120 frames, so we can slow it down to 25% because the flame was actually really short. I just used a hand sanitizer here, which has a lot of alcohol in it, and I just used some of my matches to spray through the matches, and the flame was maybe like one second long, so everything had to be shot really fast, and then we can slow it down. So. Um, I shot everything in 120 frames per second and everything had to be perfect. We're throwing up the chilies and then just spraying at the same time. So I had an assistant doing the flamethrower and I throw up the chilies in the air and I also put some chili flakes there to make it a little more interesting. But there were so many tries uh, that we got it right, but everything looks fine at the end. I just had everything on the board that it looks more even and I just threw the chilies up into the air and the, at the same time my system was just getting the flame through the chilies and it just had to look a certain way because you want to have the flames touch the chilies and it took us a few tries but we managed at the end. What I wanted to make sure with the lighting is I didn't want to get any light on the background because I wanted to crush the background so it is completely black. So I always want, I only wanted to get light on the chilies itself. So I kind of like side lit it and turn it away from the background with the with the uh, light tubes just turn them away from the background and there's some still some spill of light on the chilies and I cranked them up a lot so it had a lot of light and I think it looks really good and yeah it took us a lot of tries but we managed at the end so the next shot where the Tabasco bottle was opening up and the Tabasco was flying out of the bottle was actually two separate shots. So the first shot was just the Tabasco ball on the Lazy Susan, which is that rotating plate I used as a cheap rotating plate. And I put it on there and then I put a black sh paper sheet on top and then I just rotated it. And at the same time, I was pulling off the lid. So I put a fishing line on the lid and then I just pulled it off while I was turning the, the Lazy Susan. And, and I lit this from the front, so I want to get some light on the label. But I also want to get this nice little stripe light at the side of the bottle. But the problem was the, the label goes around the bottle too much. So if you get that side light on the label, you can't really read Tabasco anymore. So what I did is I used some papers and a, a box to block off the light hitting the label because you still want to read the Tabasco writing, but it still went onto the top part of the bottle. So I get this nice little edge light at the top of the bottle. And then the second part was just the Tabasco dripping out of the bottle and I used a separate shot for this. So I used this little needle and I just pulled some Tabasco into the needle and then I just spread it out so if you realize the two balls on the outside, they have a different spray pattern than the one that is in the middle. So for the one in the middle, I just sprayed from the bottom to the top, so upwards. And I used a different spray pattern for the ones on the side, so I sprayed downwards. Then in post, I masked it in. So 
once the lid pops off of the bottle, I just masked in the Tabasco spraying up and I even used key light and after effects for this. So I keyed out the black background and also the fishing line I keyed out in post, but it's so thin, it kind of, if you crush the blacks of the background, which I did, you can't really see it anymore. So you don't even have to key it out because it's so thin and such a thin line. And yeah, it's just basically, I think that part of the video is really funny and really adds to the video. The third shot was actually pretty simple. I just rotated the chili in front of the lens. And then what I did is I animated and post, so I crushed the blacks again. So I have total freedom how I can manipulate it. I can rotate it, I can change the position. So I made it come up from the top and then once chili drops down it's a different shot so I just dropped a chili and filmed it like I had my camera in the hand and it just fall the chili down and then I cut to the chili flakes falling onto the ground and I think it really is a nice transition where it looks like the chili is exploding into these chili flakes and yeah it was an idea I had and I think it turned out really well so I just lit this from the side again just with the two tube lights and I just wanted to make sure again that there's no light hitting the background because I just wanted a really black background that I can crush the blacks and I don't have to key out as much because it's way more work. So I turned the light tubes away from the background and I just lit the chilies from the side. So the final shot was kind of the hero shot you want to have at the end, showing off the product in a nice way and the flame coming from the back. I put the basketball bottle with the chilies and the chili flakes on uh, higher elevation so I, I rigged up something with some boxes that I had and put a black sheet of paper underneath and I just went behind it with a long match a really long match and then I had someone holding a light from the top so I just wanted to let it top down on the label but not again not on the background and same with the other shot I block off the light from the side I had another nail light power tube from the side and I blocked off the light from hitting the label but not the top of the bottle so I get this nice little um, rim light and uh, side light here and and then I went with the long mesh behind the ball and just sprayed and I again I shot in 120 frames per second it was just a short flame but if you slow it down to 25% it looks really cool and then um, I zoomed in and post so I give it a little bit more movement and I think this is a really nice shot and I had to key out a little bit of the edges of the paper because it was in the frame but the final result looks really good and I'm really happy with it. And the very last shot with the logo, it was actually really simple. I just placed the logo in the middle and then the chilies I just added in. I just had someone hold the chilies in front of the camera, in front of the lens, and then I had my little flamethrower again and just blew the fire around the chili and yeah, I just, this is the simple shot and I just uh, duplicated the clip, one on each side and it just looks, I, I, I think it gives, it adds to the touch of the end of the video where the logo and then fire again, it's just a really nice ending to the video. So I hope you like that hot spicy video and you want to create some stuff on your own. Also, if you want to check out the gear that I used in this video, there's Amazon links down below in the description. And I also hope you learned something. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like that, I have tons of behind the scenes of product videos here up on the channel. So consider subscribing and I see you in the next one.